Welcome to the shop. I'm Neil and Gail is operating the camera and we'll be doing the video. And we're here today to talk about this apparatus, which is called a steel yard. And it gets its name from the steel it's made of, but it isn't necessarily a yard long. Yard is actually an archaic word that means rod or pole. Various forms of steel yard were used to weigh goods for hundreds if not thousands of years before spring scales were invented. They came in many sizes depending on what was to be weighed. This one is 49 and a half inches long and weighs six and a half pounds. Unfortunately there is no manufacturer's information on it. There are only a few traces left of its original coat of black paint. The curve at the thick end may just be decorative and allows for more weight without extending the length. Versions by other manufacturers have various shapes at this end. It has two hooks, one for suspending the steel yard and one on which you hang the item to be weighed. One of these is a homemade replacement from a bolt. You can still see some of the threads at the tip. There are two sliding counterweights, one of 3 pounds and one of 12 pounds. These were made of cast iron and a hole was drilled in the bottom. Lead was poured into the hole to reach the exact weight. The longer, thinner end is graduated on both sides to indicate weights. It operates by using the sliding counterweight to get the steel yard roughly horizontal and then you read the weight at the counterweight. To make the weight more obvious, there is a pointer at the top that must be vertical to get an accurate reading. On the side marked for the 3 pound counterweight, there are notches every half pound from 1 to 80. The weight is stamped on the scale every 10 pounds and there is an X halfway between stamps. On the side marked for the 12 pound counterweight, the notches are every 2 pounds from 20 to 320. The weight is stamped on the scale every 20 pounds and there is a groove instead of an X halfway between stamps. At some time in the past the yard broke off at the 60 pound mark and was welded back in place. This is the steel yard after rust removal and application of a coat of primer paint. The final appearance with black paint added. Here is a can of scrap lead that weighs approximately 11 and a half pounds as shown on this spring scale. When the can is hung on the steel yard, the reading at the counterweight with the pointer vertical is the same. If you found this video interesting, please smash the thumbs up button. And as always, thanks for watching.